college, I can remember my first couple days, you're just laying in your dorm, you're in your apartment, you're looking up and you're saying, man, like, I might not be as fast as I was in high school. Everybody else is pretty impressive. How have you guys dealt with being around elite athletes at your respective position group, let alone the team? Uh, just uh, fighting that price, you know, they're fighting that person, you know, you're going to face that person. You're going out there compete and be the best player you can be. For me, just learning the plays and going out there competing and, and trying to earn a spot on the team. <laughs> Coach Caroline, you got a spot on the team, right? Just making sure. You got a spot? Okay, you earned a spot. You got a spot. But I like that. That's a mentality. Um, but that, that being said, for, for you, the, the system, what attracted you most to say, you know what, I'm going to come and I'm going to fight out? Um, just how many receivers they play at one time um, on the field and just knowing that I can be a, a dominant force and just, it's an explosive offense and I can really make a difference. So, you know, I love the offense and it's the first time I've seen it. Yeah, I think all of us would agree with that. So many players touching the rock, making plays, making plays, explosive plays, lighting up the Coliseum. Speaking of, Parker, now, you're not going to be in on every snap. You know that. And sometimes fans are going to have major expectations because kickers are never allowed to miss. So how have you dealt with the pressure and expectations of coming in here and basically knowing that you hopefully can go about 100% of your career? Uh, yeah, pretty much I've just been, you know, trying to learn from, you know, all the other kickers and, and punters. Like, you know, Benny's 20 years old. He's got just so much experience. Same with Chase, you know, being a three-year veteran. So, um, yeah. I'm just trying to just learn as much as possible to, um, you know, fight, 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 be perfect. Kobe, I feel this defensive front is the best in the conference coming back this year. It's a bit like to be around Marlon, Jay, Drake, guys that have had a lot of early success in their careers on this campus. I mean, it's been great. You know, we haven't really done much as a team yet, but, uh, you know, going to practice, uh, watching them play, learning all day, been playing all year, trying to. You know, they've been just taking under their wing, showing me the world's effort, so it's been cool. It's really fun when you walk to practice, and then you haven't done it, there's this tunnel, right? It's got all the names of all the All-Americans. A lot of the wide receivers. When you guys take that walk to your first practice, where you get to put on your helmet for the first time this upcoming weekend, can you imagine some of your thoughts as maybe you look at a couple of those previous names that have been at your history year? Yeah, most definitely. You know, just trying to feel the shoes that a lot of great receivers have been here. You know, Juju, uh, Ian Mack, and Robert Woods, and things like that. So just trying to come here and feel the shoes that they have. I mean, it's just amazing for me to be here. This guy's got a career meeting, Tim Tesla, wherever he is. Really impressive. How do you prepare? You know, everybody thinks that you, if you're a big time recruit in high school, you, you should be able to show up and be able to compete. But I'm curious, how do you prepare yourself to be able to show up and play to your expectation this coming weekend? Um, for me, it's like, I, I don't really, like, let up. I feel like working hard, being dedicated, and just uh, proving who I am is going to help me to propel and be the best person I can be on and off the field. So how would you define who you are? Um, I feel like I'm a great person. Uh, <laughs>
experience. The network is huge. I mean, it's real, right? I mean, what's the phrase that you were told to recruit? You could be somebody for four years, or you can be a Trojan for life, right? And that's been going on here for a really long time, and somebody's been in LA for a long time, it's the truth. So with that being said, before I let you go, what are you most excited about off the field for yourself if you were projected three, four years from this moment right now to that? Um, off the field, I just want to network, like I said, you know, just gain um, as many friends and, and relationships I can before I leave and uh, possibly go to the NFL and just, you know, just create relationships. That's the biggest thing for me. How about yourself? Um, I would say the same, just making a lot of connections with anybody I see, not even just people I think, you know, like, oh, you're cool. I just rather make connections with just anybody I see. Um, and then, besides that, uh, make connections with teachers, staff, everybody, and you know, just being a great person. All right, three, four years from now, Parker, what are you hoping you accomplish your career at SC? I want to be an All American. All right. um, I'll be, I'll be, I, uh, I would like to make a statement for myself uh, on the field, you know, wear my, wear my number proudly. Uh, and yeah, like make make connections. Like you know, we we all we all had had a, a football class today where they they told us about you know how to really maximize um, you know like the, the career center and, and the whole Trojan network. It was it was really cool to see you know how many Trojans was like on LinkedIn like two two hundred ninety two thousand active Trojans you know out out there in America and globally. So you know just maximizing the Trojan, Trojan network to get the best job possible. Kobe, as uh, a partner for our signing day show on the Pac-12 Networks, started talking to a lot of people about you, and they all said the same thing, which was, he's always a guy working in the shadows. You know, always working when people sleeping or doing other things. Where does that come from for you, and how do you think you're able to transition that to your college experience? I mean, for me, growing up, like, um, I didn't play football, like, growing up, I started, I didn't play D-line until my sophomore year in high school. So, um, that transition kind of made me like, I gotta work harder to see that I feel a little bit. And uh, just started from then on, I started seeing results, and I just kept doing it. And it worked out. Have any of you had the moment where you're like, damn, I'm an SC? Like, I bet as kids, at least three of you grew up in this community, had dreams of playing the Coliseum, and now it's literally right behind. Yeah, it was definitely so. Um, my first day, um, as we try to practice a uh, strength conditioning, just being out there with the guys, you know, and, and I was talking to Josh about it for the first time on Tuesday, putting on that the USC helmet. It's, it's going to be an epic moment of reality. And I go, yeah, we really made it here. <laughs> I agree. So, is there anybody else? Uh, anybody roommates? Is there like an, you know, is there a predetermined order? Like, biggest guy brushes his teeth first, or last, or that kind of stuff? Whoever wakes up first, I did. Okay. And who is the first to wake up over the, my name is the first to wake up first? The teacher's up first, there. I love that. All right, so we know where to go. That's our next feature coach. We're going to get these four guys in the room, spring, spring football, and uh, 